to another episode of Puppet Storytime. Today on Puppet Storytime, we are going to be sharing the story of the lion and the mouse. Here we go. Once upon a time, there was a lion who loved to sleep all day. Yeah. Oh, I love to sleep all day. I love to lay in the heat of the sun, resting against the nice, cool ground. One day, while the lion was sleeping next to a tree, a little mouse came out of a tree hole to play. Do, 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 la, 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 what? What is this lying next to my tree? I wonder what could it be? I will climb up to get a closer look. The mouse ran up the lion's neck and slid down his back, then up again and down again. Whee! This is fun. Let me try it once more. Whatever this is lying here next to the tree, it's so much fun to slide on, Wee! So the mouse ran up the lion's neck and slid down his back. But this time, the lion caught him with a great big smack! Roar! I'm going to eat you for a snack! The lion opened his mouth wide to eat the mouse. But the mouse cried out. Wait, please don't eat me. Please be kind to me. And one day I will help you. Ha ha ha. You help me? A little mouse help a lion? Ha 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 ha. I am the king of the jungle. You're just a little mouse. You could never, ever help me. The lion laughed very hard at the thought of a little mouse being able to help him. <laughs> That's the funniest thing I've ever heard. A mouse helping a lion. <laughs> that will never happen. As the lion was laughing, the mouse ran away. <laughs> I'm out of here. The very next day, as the mouse left his tree hole to play, he heard a big roar. What could it be? <laughs> oh my, I wonder what that sound could be. It sounds like lion. I wonder, does he need me? Does he need help? I have to go see. The mouse followed the sounds of the roar and squeaked when he saw the king of the jungle tied to a tree. Rawr, let me loose out of these ropes. Untie me from this tree. Do not worry, lion. I have a plan to set you free from the tree. Rawr, go away, little mouse, and find someone who really can help me untie from this tree? You are too small to set me free. But the little mouse did not listen to the lion, and he ran up his back and worked quickly to chew through the rope that had the lion tied to the tree. Nibble, 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 nibble. I'm almost done, lion. I'm almost done biting through this rope and you'll be set free. Just a few more chews on the rope and you'll be free. There, I did it. I chewed through the rope. Just then the rope snapped and the lion was set free. Rawr. Oh, thank you, little mouse. I had no idea that you were big enough to help me. Thank you, little mouse, for setting me free. You are the very best friend there could ever be. You're welcome, lion. The lion learned that even the smallest of the small can help others in need.
indeed. And the lion and the mouse lived happily as friends ever after. Well, friends, I do hope that you enjoyed today's puppet story time. Until next time, bye!